the CEO of Mandalay Bay, James Murren, has given millions to associations fixing to Islamic fear-based oppression, and it has now been uncovered that he sold off the majority of his organization partakes in the weeks paving the way to the Las Vegas shooting. Wayne Allen Root at Town Hall expounded on Murren over a month back, presenting his gifts to Islamic fear-based oppressor gatherings, in an article that may have demonstrated chillingly prophetic. Jim Murren of MGM Resorts International has abused the trust of his MGM board, investors, representatives and clients. However, not smallly. In a Vegas greater than life way. Jim Murren wins the honor for heedless CEO of the century. Murren has quite recently placed MGM in bed with an association with binds to Islamic fear-mongering. Murren declared in light of what he sees as the prejudice, fanaticism, narrow-mindedness and brutality seen at the Charlottesville aggravation, that MGM will give organization cash, and match representative commitments, to a gathering of outrageous liberal social equality, human rights, and Muslim promotion gatherings. A peculiar and fanatic choice to make with organization assets and investor cash. It deteriorates. Jim Murren is giving MGM investor cash to care. They were named by the Justice Department as an unindicted co backstabber to Muslim fear based oppression. The FBI delivered outlines indicating care was made to help the Palestinian fear based oppressor association Hamas. Care encourages Muslims not to collaborate with the FBI. Numerous care authorities and partners have been indicted on jihad fear charges. Be that as it may, don't trust me. Liberal Democrat Senator Charles Schumer stated, CARE has connections to fear-based oppression and personal connections with Hamas. What CEO would attach his organization to a gathering appended to Muslim fear-mongering? Any CEO would need to be visually impaired, hard of hearing, or moronic to go close care. He'd need to know his disputable options would irritate, shock or pursue off a large number of his clients by picking bunches so extraordinary. In any case, IT gets worse. Amazingly, James Murren, CEO of Mandalay Bay, MGM Resorts International, is likewise a sitting individual from the Homeland Security National Infrastructure Advisory Council. He's in charge of getting enactment and controls go for Security and Innovation Foundation. For example, X beamback scatter machines, in broad daylight places. So the CEO of Mandalay Bay, the site of an awful slaughter, is a sitting individual from the Homeland Security National Infrastructure Advisory Council, and has given millions to fear gatherings? This isn't typical individuals. In any case, it might have given the string that enables us to destroy an abnormal state intrigue. The High Stakes Players Meet Michael Chertoff. He's the previous United States Secretary of Homeland Security co-creator of the U.S. Patriot Act and has a gathering called the Chertoff Group established in 2009. It's a security and hazard administration gathering. The Chertoff Group has a personal stake in a huge push for backscatter machines since they're the greatest makers of these machines, alongside another firm called ISA. The arrangement these two firms has is to pass laws that require the backscatter machines in every single open place. This will be for the sake of well-being. What's more, Americans will be glad to do it. Much the same as we were with the Patriot Act after 9-11. After they finish this they'll consolidate their organizations in 2020, offer their stocks and make billions in benefits. All while influencing the U.S. to like the Middle East which is their definitive objective. The administration needs these machines introduced in every one of the clubhouse in Las Vegas and in the long run in places like parks, government-funded schools, markets, libraries, eateries, stadiums, open transportation stations, exercise centers, chapels, all occasion places, shopping centers, wherever you can envision. They need to influence America to like the Middle East to the extent security goes. The Chertoff Group will make billions from this arrangement. Wynn Casino as of now has just introduced backscatter machines in their clubhouse and it hasn't been four days. Many daily paper articles have just said this will happen. The leader of the Department of Homeland Security has been on CNN and discussed these machines and how we require them. What's more, James Murren, CEO of Mandalay Bay, 
is a sitting individual from the DHS. Take after the money. James Murren likewise dumped the vast majority of his MGM stock, $13.7 million worth, in the weeks paving the way to the Las Vegas shooting. You can see the historical backdrop of his exchanges at Yahoo Finance. Likewise, on September 12, somebody was setting considerably bigger than ordinary wagers that the MGM stock would go down. MGM Resorts International, NYSC, MGM, was the objective of abnormally vast alternatives exchanging action. Financial specialists obtained 11,909 put choices on the organization, an expansion of around 164% contrasted with the run of the mill everyday volume of 4,509 put choices. Mystery Society MGM Resorts, Mandalay Bay, Luxor, and so forth, likewise have their own one-of-a-kind mystery society called Enlightened Society for Global Transformation. Here's their trademark logo including a pyramid, initially enlisted by Mandalay Resort Group in 1995. Furthermore, trust it or not, Mandalay CEO James Mullen likewise has a red-walled pyramid with a square opening in the rooftop and the lighting framework intended to modify the watcher's impression of the sky, as per lodging industry site, curbed. Presently, Laura Loomer is revealing today that DHS is presently in full power at the inn cluster of homeland vehicles blocking regions of in. Is DHS there for the conceal? If you don't mind share this video.